Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. I can only see the comics of that. similar method where a person could be transformed into water. <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. <sighs> Must we really? I should think that of anyone, your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Even so, I trust the Traveler's judgment. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased, Callal. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post-haste. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... water from the Primordial Sea. The Primordial huh? Sea? The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. Why do people from Fontaine can have their only work on them? They want to turn them into water. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You gotta be kidding! People dissolving into water? Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowell was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... <sighs> You two, with me, quick! Huh? Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Oh boy, something order, is coming. Order! <laughs> it is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic. Albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Sense at all. Hmm. Let's think about it.
about this. Cowl's methods must have something to do with that water from the primordial sea. I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire time. Did she have something to do with this? Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead some form of triggering me- The rope that held the water- The water from the primordial- The deceased's name is Cow- I remember there was some- Lynette was in the magic box. Uh, I have to guess this side. Huh? Oh. Lynette was in the magic box. The water from the primordial. The deceased's name is Cowl. The rope that held the water tank up was. The deceased's name is Cow. No, oh, come on. would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel, and wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Huh, that does make sense. That actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. Now he's bad. <sighs> oh dear, what do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? <sighs> what a humiliation. I guess she's not into this scheme. No. It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. On that note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. Huh? What? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. Okay, that's fine. That Does this not clear all doubt? Okay, this is a... Uh, what is that? Allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. Do people just dissolve into. Did he have like shoes and other. wild drop on her? Not just the dust. But upon his return and cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Okay, she do this just for them. 
Ultimately, he knocked Cowell out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, am I right, Miss? We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? Well, it's not like you're gonna be a killer. You die. Oh no! Mm, Paimon can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around this. Uh, seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move. But here's another thing, the what, the disappearance for, the, how long did he say, about 20 years? I bet Lina is much younger than that. I think we've all seen enough now, and we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. I believe this is indeed the finale! Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move... Huh? Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject! Miss, I must ask you not to shout, and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Oh, come on! Don't be hasty! I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate, and see a little magic? Huh? I'll show you an amazing trick, one that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh. Right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. What, what in the world is she saying? Oi, she's alive. No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette, give it another go! Don't worry, Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. And voila! Huh? Huh? Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Is that the Wait, isn't that Halsey? So, the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me, and then before I knew it, she caught me. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. But what Why? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian, and I'm originally from Mondstadt. I heard that Linny's show was going to be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there, and I'd never been caught before. Wait, isn't she from the very start, like, the pickpocket? Oh, don't tell me. This was all planned, isn't it? But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Hey! You look familiar. So you were the thief. Liddy even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. 
Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. <sighs> there was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, but what's what's the deal with the tank then? Although I feel a little now. She's gonna uh, pie a character, is she? This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. <laughs> Man, when is this over? Hmm. 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 Oh, come on. Okay, we saw this. And it's Ace Detective Paimon time! Having been selected out of the blue, Lillianne panicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. But still doesn't explain the water, you know, the guy that tries to turn people into water. I bet that's gonna be something to look for. That the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. But wait, did we actually inspect the air? Like, we could actually have opened the box out of random and discovered her. She knew that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So... She has been trapped in the Opera House these last two days! She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky thief. How? I mean, when? She didn't just stood in the background. That's a... That's a leap if I fell off one. So that's the whole story. Bravo! Bravo! Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? I... Uh, <laughs> um... Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. 
Yep, he's the baby she thought of. What? Are you reading my mind now? <sighs> no, I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? Wow, look at that! She's like a deflated balloon now! If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the watermarks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. Okay, why did you bring up that thing about balloons? That was never mentioned. I think he has something to hide too. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the Opera House, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Hooray, Linny and Lynette! Amazing! You are still guilty! While there spying. is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. What did she put there? Oh, got you. Wait, did he enter a ticket? As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Okay, Great this is work, partners. Wow, Thank I didn't expect all. Thank you this... so much. Yeah, I expected that much in to say guilty of Charles or something. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. Huh? How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, what right. now? Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know. Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? I... Uh... I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. What? I... I was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher up said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now the that you have fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher ups. Yes. We're gonna deal with another organization. <laughs> I'm not be surprised, but. Be funny, something else, another for two. Although, again, the photo is gonna get in, do something, and you know, this. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know 
and seek the protection of the guards. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. And he's Our gonna boss turn into water in three, the water two, can cause one. people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. We've been in this business for a while now and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The. <laughs> Wow, two dead bodies in one update. And now he can no longer talk. Such ruthlessness. <sighs> I shouldn't have expected any less of them. An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Robot? 